Good morning, Christ Center. It's Thursday, October 5th, and we are still in week four of our journey through the book of John. This morning, let's begin uh, with a moment of silent prayer as we invite the Holy Spirit to join us. This is Abby Cox. Today's reading comes from John 5, 25 through 29. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. One of the major complaints against God by those who do not yet believe or who have walked away from the Lord comes in regard to whether or not God is good and fair to those who died before having a chance to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. How can God judge someone who didn't hear? Jesus addresses this in part when he tells the people that even the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. When Jesus gave his life on the cross, the scripture tells us he then descended into Hades and led captives in his train. In other words, he set people free from captivity. These can be difficult passages and there are differing interpretations, but I want you to consider this one that all who died before Christ came to earth were given an opportunity to respond to Christ. There are other passages that seem to line up with this idea. In another scripture, Luke 12, 47 through 48, Jesus shares that those who have sinned willfully will be punished greatly, but those who have sinned in ignorance will be punished less severely. In other words, God does not judge us according to what we don't know, He judges each of us according to what we do know. This should be of great comfort for us because this life is messy, sometimes complex, and we don't see the whole picture on this side of eternity. We as humans only see from our perspective, yet God sees everything exactly as it is and has chosen to make his grace available to all of us who will receive it. He's the only one who can balance judgment and mercy. He is the only perfect judge. Thank God for that. It relieves a lot of pressure. Instead of the world's approach, which is to either judge nothing as good or evil, or to judge everything and everyone, we're invited to bring all we have to Jesus, the perfect judge. Only he has the power to give life. Only he has the authority to execute perfect judgment. Let us rest in this fact today. Jesus really will judge all things rightly and in perfect time. So let us walk in gratitude and humility, doing our best to spend each day following him and trusting him. Let's pray. Jesus, our Lord, thank you for your perfect love. Thank you for your perfect judgment and your incredible mercy. We ask today that you would convict us in every area that is not aligned with your heart and your commands. We ask that you would empower us by your Holy Spirit to serve you and our neighbors today in the same way you've served us in giving your life for us. We love you and we receive the grace you've extended to us. Amen. Great being with you today, Christ Center. We'll see you tomorrow.